Hello and welcome to Developing Your Business Plan. We've done this in person the last couple years and we're gonna start doing it a little bit different. This year, I'm gonna take it virtual and instead of bringing you into a, a virtual classroom to, to data dump on you for two hours and give you this, this full plan, I'm gonna break it into five videos for you, five steps to really create your comprehensive business plan. Um, this will allow you to really do it step by step and hopefully it won't be nearly as overwhelming as it's been in the past. So as I've taught this in the past and as I mentor agents, I am astounded with how many people don't have a business plan. Whether you like it or not, you are a business owner. We are entrepreneurs. We, the only person holding us accountable to getting out of bed in the morning and working in our business is ourselves. If you don't have a solid business plan, it's hard to stay on track. What are you staying on track to? Um, you know, a lot of times we'll write our goal maybe on a little post-it note and put it in our office or slap it up on a wall, but it's got to have meat behind it. And going through this process, we're going to put some meat behind your goals. You're going to have a full strategic plan for the next year that will help you break those goals down into smaller objectives and smaller strategies to give you some wins as you go throughout the year and really keep you on track. So as I mentioned, this is going to be a five video series and it goes right along with my five step business plan. So let's go through those real quick. First and foremost, we're going to define our why. Um, we're going to talk in this video about why that's important and how that'll help you in your goal setting and your strategic plan. Second is going to be our business reflection. You've got to know where you've been, what you, what you have been um, successful with, so we can really take those and, and pull those out and put them into our st strategies and our objectives. And then third is going to be a SWOT analysis. Uh, that's a fun one that I'll take you through. Um, and then we're going to go into goal setting. So these first three, that defining your why, the business reflection, the SWOT analysis, we're really going to be gathering information, doing a deep reflection on ourselves um, before we even go into the goal setting process. We're going to use those three things as we start setting our goals um, and, and setting our strategies and setting our objectives. And then last but not least, once we have those goals set, we've got to have a strategic plan that we can act on. So that'll be the final piece to this. So today we're going to talk about defining our why. But before we do that, I want you to make sure that you've downloaded your business planning workbook. You can find that on bhgeniuskch.com over on the left-hand navigation. I've got it highlighted here in gray. Um, you'll see the business planning um, a section. And when you click on that, the first thing you're going to see is download the workbook. Um, the PDF preview there, if you click on the uh, little box with the arrow in the upper right corner of that, it'll open in a PDF in a new window. It'll allow you to print it or download it to your computer, whichever is easier for you. Um, but you really want to have that workbook. It follows right along with this video series. And um, once you complete everything, you'll have a solid, comprehensive business plan that'll really be your guide for the next year. So let's get started here with defining our why. Your why is really where the rubber meets the road. It's not your, it's not your mission statement. It's not what you do on a day-to-day -day basis. It's what drives you. It is your compass. We all, and I hope you did, you got into real estate to make money, but why? Why do you need to make money? What things are important in your life that you need to fund? What, um, what are some things that, that really, that drive you, that, that drive you to get out of bed every day, get dressed and go fight the good fight in real estate? Real estate isn't easy. Um, really defining your why, will, will, it's kind of gut check time and it's your core compass as to why you do what you do. And defining that and defining that from the start is really important. So I want you to think about as you, um, I think it's on page three of your workbook, you're going to define your why. And I really want you to think you can either do it in a sentence or you could do some bullet points, but really ask yourself this question, what does this business allow you to do? I love this quote that's up on the screen. When you know your why, you can endure any how. It'll make that getting out of bed in the morning, getting dressed and fighting that good fight easier. If you know what that, what that why is, what are you working towards? Couple of examples for you. Um, if you're gonna write them in sentence versus bullets, I would encourage you to use this structure with your why statements. And that is to blank so that blank 
you're going to insert your contribution and then insert your impact. So a couple examples of that to leave a positive impact on people's lives so that they can realize their true potent potential. It's a great why statement. Another example for you to consistently grow, develop and challenge myself so that I can be a better person than I was the day before. Lots of variations, lots of different things you can do with your why, but it's really important that you set the stage. And I know many of you that are watching this have been through either this business planning or, um, you know, value proposition classes, um, you know, in Ninja, they really talk about your why and that really driving at the core, everything that you do. So some of you have already been through this process. I still encourage you in the business planning workbook to use page three and jot some things down there um, as you go throughout the year and, and you know, the goal with this is not to do this whole workbook and then put it on a shelf somewhere, but I want you to always think about what that why is and think about are the, are the things that you're doing on a daily basis or the activities you're doing, is that driving you towards your why? All right, that completes your first video, the first section of five. We've done defining your why. The next video is going to be a little bit harder. We're going to start getting out some uh, some pencil and paper here. We're going to do a business reflection. Now, I know some of you are watching this and you're newer agents and you don't have a whole lot of business to reflect on. That's okay. I still want you to go through the next process. There's still going to be some value in it to you as we work through this whole goal setting and strategic planning process for yourself and your business. So I will see you on the next one. Thank you.